Hey everyone, Lucy from Backhind here. If you're looking to increase your sales on FAIR by using email, this is the video for you. I'm going to be talking about how many emails we send and what we put in those emails to increase our sales. We've been doing a lot of work over the past year and a half to test what works for us in email. And we've made over £150,000 in sales on FAIR now. A lot of that has been through cold emailing. So we generate our own leads. We put the customers into acquisition flows. We send monthly newsletters. So there's a lot of work that goes into it. And I'm going to share what we found that actually works for us and actually converts into sales. And hopefully you can do the same. So the first thing is branding emails. So FAIR's marketing tool is actually really good and that's where we started, but it does have a limited amount of things you can do in terms of personalization. But we found one of the best things to do if you're using that tool is we just started creating our own email headers in Canva. So we'd create a branded header in Canva, just like simple, use your colors, use your logo, any imagery. And we just attach that onto every single email header when we're sending th them through FAIR. And it just sets you apart from the rest, dif differentiates your brand as well so people know who they're listening to and they start to kind of expect those emails from you we've now moved into hubspot for our emails and our crm system and that's really good because now we've got completely fully personalized emails all of our brand colors and imagery and there's a lot more functionality that we can use but we started in fair with that email marketing tool and there's a lot you can do with it Another thing we do on email is we send a monthly newsletter. So I've seen this question bat around about how many emails people send out. At the moment, we send a monthly newsletter to our customers, but then we also have acquisition flows and that's more kind of like sales based and warming people up. Get them, get them to know our brand. But the monthly newsletter that we send out is something that we just pack with value for our customers. So it's something that we want the, our customers to feel that they're part of a community. So we'll send charity updates because we donate a percentage of our profits to charity. Product updates, any sales coming up, events, uh, marketing assets, any point of sale stands, new designs, just anything that's like to bring them in, bring them into part of who we are, what we do, our mission, and just anything that's going on with the brand. And then they start to learn that you are giving them value in every email that you send. So we have found that works really well. Now, I would say don't expect replies from things like this. You're speaking to busy business owners. And it's the same for me. If I'm getting emails from people, I'm not necessarily replying to it, but I am taking that in and I'm absorbing it. And we have found that we get sales off the back of it. For example, one of the things that we do in the monthly newsletter is we have a segment where we talk about upcoming animal days. So the premise of our software is we're donating profits to animal conservation so animal days are a big marketing tool for us so for example if we've got bumblebee conservation day coming up then we might talk to our retailers the month before and say bumblebee day is coming up have you got your bee socks here's some bee photos here's also all the stock photography you need for your bee socks get them on sale and we have some ready for you to buy so there's like a talking point there again we're not getting responsive responses from this but we see our market our customers use our marketing materials and i've also actually bumped into a retailer before and they've spoken to me saying oh i saw that you were promoting national pig day so i've put all my pig socks on on sale and i've started posting about national pig day so we know it's working even if the customers aren't actually replying to us so the big one is acquisition flows. And this is for anyone that is looking to increase their amount of sales from new leads. And so a lot of work goes into generating those leads and then we'll put them into an acquisition flow. So this is where we'll send a flow of five to 10 emails over the course of a few months. And it's all about warming them up to our brand, our mission, our products, what fair is, the benefits, like just everything that goes into that like sales funnel, we'll put into those emails over the course of time and the thing is if you send maybe two or three emails and then give up when you haven't heard from them that's not going to work you do have to be really persistent we've noticed that we'll have people that are in our email flow for months at a time and they won't order until much further down the line you've got to remember that as business owners you might not be contacting them at the most ideal time for them but if you stay on top of it drive value and show them your product and how good it is over time they might convert one thing as well is to not be afraid afraid of unsubscribers we get like a low amount of unsubscribers like it's not something to be worried about but sometimes people are just very protective of their time on email so i've got very good customers who keep repeat buying but they're not subscribed to our emails that's and that's their boundary to set so yeah leave it up to the customer if they want to unsubscribe but you should be contacting them regularly be consistent with your emails and it will pay off
So I want to sum up by saying that a lot of work needs to go into generating sales on FAIR. Once you get into that momentum and you're finding lots of your own leads, you're converting those sales with FAIR Direct and that 0% commission, the algorithm will start to learn that there's a demand for your product. Because we've done so much direct sales, we're now starting to see a lot more marketplace orders come in as a result. And we spend a lot of time on this. Over 50% of the team's time is spent on servicing wholesale customers, finding new leads, writing out their emails, and all the other work that goes around it in terms of getting the product ready and our point of sale stands. So there is a lot of work that goes into it, but then it is really rewarding when you're kind of having that consistent revenue throughout the year and not just at Christmas as well as we find because we're a very seasonal business. I hope this was useful, but please do let me know if you've got any questions pop them in the comments below and i will get back to you we do weekly videos on fair and our sales tips strategies and advice that we found that works so please subscribe and i will see you in our next video bye